Okay, you've got your configuration file all set and you've got it saved uh, in electronic form so if something should happen in the future you can go ahead and reload those settings instantly. Something else you should do as a backup is print out a configuration file. This is in the menu in the SFT software and what this does is it you can either save it as a PDF which I generally do so I'll have a record of it or you can print out a hard copy and when you do it'll look like this. The downside is it's 27 pages long so unless you want to use up a whole bunch of paper for a whole bunch of relays I suggest you save them as a PDF and keep them in a separate place than you have your setting files so if something happens to one you'll have the other as a backup. Uh, the advantage of this is that you can go through it and look at what all the settings are. A lot of times too uh, some engineering firms or factories will require a printed report so they can review what all the settings are and pop through this a little bit you know like here it'll show all your protection settings what they're set at what the curves are anything that's done in Goose anything that's done with Logipam if you're using the SFT 2885 to write logic everything with the logic will be in here as well so it's just a good thing to have as a backup you don't necessarily have to print it if it's not required by the factory or the engineering firm, but it's a good thing to have. I'm going to do a little demonstration here on how to get that configuration file downloaded. Uh, you'll go up here to File, and then you'll want to do uh, Print Configuration. Oop, there we go. Properties. I already have this one filled in for this particular installation. You'll need to fill in these uh, boxes here so that it will appear on the report. Otherwise you'll have a bunch of blank lines. Once you've got that filled in, click OK. Go back up here to Print Configuration. And, well, you can do Print Preview if you want to see how it's going to look. It'll prepare the printout and you can go through it and review it first before you save it. Just by hitting next page and etc etc and it, it'll have all your settings and everything in there. Here in the title it'll show uh, the CPAM label and the application type. It'll have all the information there for either the factory or the engineering firm it needs to be submitted to or for your own records. From there you just hit print. It'll prepare that printout. And what we're going to do here is print this to PDF. And we'll need to give it a name. I'm just going to call this one CPAN because I've already done this. And as it's doing that, you can get to see how many pages there are. If you uh, would happen to have Transfer Logic or something else written in the SFT 2885 software that's loaded in Logipam, it will also print those out, and the document could be longer. But otherwise, that's uh, pretty much all there is to it.